fist. I prefer open hand. You can use the outer portion of the arm, of the forearm. You can use the interior side of the palm, open handed, of course. And then open handed or closed fist, the inside portion of the arm. There's also the front part of the, uh, just above the elbow, the bony part. You have the single knuckle technique. The parts of the body that you want to strike against is the side of the neck. And because my right, as you are, I'm left, I write with my right hand, uh, I'm probably usually going to focus on my right arm. So if you're south palm, I'm going to focus using the left part, left part of your arm. Keep in mind that when you practice, practice from both sides, not just one. Target areas. You have the medial nerve, the medial part of the arm, radial nerve, the bony part. There's also a nerve that runs alongside the bicep. The next area is going to be the pocket of the shoulder, the kidney portion. That's what spot you can strike, which I'll show you momentarily. The sides of the neck, you got the left side and the right side. You can never get along from the long side of the neck. You strike it just hard. With enough amount of pressure, your opponent will feel it. We're using a haymaker effect. Now, most likely in the street scenario, no one is not going to be, it's going to be punching you with straight punches. They're going to come at you all their might using a wide angle punch. Now, because you're going to be within range, personal space, you're going to do something that is unnatural. You're going to go into the attack. You're not going to go away from the attack. So when you notice, as far as your position, if you're going to be in a neutral position, body slightly bladed, your hands may be down, your hands may be up. You decide how you want to execute the techniques. If I'm going to have my hand out, when I see the telegraph moment, you're going to tell because most likely they're going to telegraph winding themselves, bringing that fist down from Florida all the way up to New York. <clears throat> That's when you have to anticipate and you go into the technique. When you're going into the technique, you're hitting the my right hand. I'm going here. Now they're going into you 100% power. I'm striking either part of the nerve and at the same time there's a nerve and the elbow part. Once I have here, I grab the arm on my left, slide across the arm of my opponent. I can do one of two things. I want to do a neck strike. I follow through the neck strike. If I'm going to use the back of the hand, this is where you're going to get to practice with each other. I strike, follow through, knuckle punch, right into the pocket of the shoulder. Now your opponent's going to feel it. Prior to us actually working the technique, I'm sorry, sorry. No, you're fine. <laughs> Prior to working the technique, I want you to get the feel of what it's like to get struck. So my partner, using his left arm, is going to rest it on the side of the neck. I'm going to practice the four wow. parts that I'm going to strike with. Initially, it will be at 2% strength. You'll be able to feel it. Nothing more than 10%. If you want to go a little bit more, get a feel for 5%. Your opponent will feel it. Now I'm going to use the middle part of my arm in case, in case I'm super close. Now I'm going to use the uh, interior side of my palm. In this case, because I'm going to strike against this part, I can use my left hand. This one. Then the interior side of the forearm. Here. I'm going to work on the other side. Palm out. I can use my right hand. Right forearm. Left hand. Back of the fist, left forearm. Sorry, sir. So make sure when you're resting your hand on that part of the neck, if it's too much, let your partner know it's a little bit too much. Pull back on the strength. Okay. So using your partner, 
practice. Fifteen minutes per month. Not always will you have the opportunity to respond as they approach you. If you're walking along the street, people come close to you before you ever realize that they're that close. And they may grab, and if it's an attacker uh, coming after the prey, I love this because he's shorter than I am. It actually makes you difficult. <laughs> He'll probably push you or she against the wall somewhere. So I got a wall behind me. Now I can't go further. And they're probably going to tighten up the, the chokehold on them. And as, I, as Grandmaster Ishmael mentioned, uh, Apply a little bit of pressure so you feel what it feels like because really this hurts and then cut off the wind from your, your body and that is not fun at all. But if you can shift your weight just a little twist, swing your arm up around, okay, lock his arms against you. Now he tries to pull them out. I'm going to tighten it up a little bit and all it's really doing is pulling me with him. I can strike in the side of the head here and then come with a knife hand strike to the throat. And then you'll be taking, I don't want you to really hit somebody in the throat. And I'm going to take him all the way down to the floor when I do. And that's where I'm going to stop. So the two movements I'm going to, I want you to take and try now. As he comes in, he chokes, pushes you back against the wall, twist, grab, lock his arm, strike him beside the head, but don't really hit his head. Come back and strike him with a knife hand, strike to the throat, and take him down. 